Good morning, first grade. This math video that we're going to do together today has a lot to do with place value. We are going to be talking about how to find 10 more and 10 less of a number. So I'm going to first make this video small. Give Miss Seb one second. Thank you for being nice and patient. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, dear kings and queens of first grade, you will need these materials to learn with Lola today. You're going to need a whiteboard and a dry erase marker and eraser. You can also grab a pencil and paper to do this activity. So, again, this is Lola, and we are going to find 10 more and 10 less. This is Lola. Today, she is going to count forward and back by tens to find 10 more and 10 less. Can you say hello? Hello, Lola. She says hello. It is very nice to meet you. Oh, looks like Lola has a friend. She says, can you say hello to my friend, Joanna? Hi, everybody. We already learned how to show one more and one less than a number. So say if our number was the number five. Remember, if we are showing one more, we need to go this way to the number six. If we have the number five and we're trying to show one less, we need to go this way on our hundredth chart, and the answer would be four. Today, we will learn how to find ten more and ten less. That sounds kind of hard, says Joanna. Don't worry, Joanna. It isn't as difficult as it sounds. Let's look at this section of a hundred chart. I remember that when we count by tens, we go down the chart. That's right, Joanna. This time, we are going to look closely at the fives column. So everybody see the column that we're looking at? Let's see if we can change these numbers into place value blocks. Great idea, Lola. Then we can see how they are the same and how they are different. So we're going to take them and place them into place value blocks. This is the number 5. This is the number 15. And this is the number 25. See those 10 sticks and those 1 cubes? Tell a partner what you notice about these three numbers. How are they different? How are they the same? The five just has five ones. Fifteen has a ten and five ones. And twenty-five has two tens and five ones. That's right. They have the same number of ones, but each row adds a 10. And remember, friends, we're trying to find numbers that are 10 more and 10 less. How can we do that using our place value? You are very observant. Let's try one together. Get your whiteboard ready. Hmm. How are we going to figure out the missing numbers? Let's try changing the 18 into place value blocks. So we have one 10 stick and eight ones. Oh, I see what you're doing. Now we just need to figure out the place value blocks for the missing numbers. That's very smart, Lola. Thanks, Joanna. Do you remember how the middle number was different from the top number? Hmm. Yes, it had one less 10. So we took away a 10 stick and we have eight ones. Great. And how was the bottom number different? Hmm. Let's think, scholars. How was the bottom number different? That one was 10 more. So we need to add another 10. Great. And how was the bottom number different? 
So 10 less than 18 is 8. And 10 more than 18 is, read that bottom number, friends, 28. Great job. That's right. 18 minus 10 is equal to what? And 18 plus 10 is equal to what? We could also show 10 more and 10 less as equations. See if you can use what we just learned to help solve these problems on your whiteboard. 18 minus 10 is 8. And 18 plus 10 is 28. How did you do? If it was a little tricky, don't worry. We're going to practice some more. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboard. Okay, remember the first step is to think of this number as place value blocks. Great, one ten stick and three ones. And then we need to figure out what ten less will look like. So if we have one ten stick and three ones, if we take away ten, what will that number look like? Just take away 10. You should have three ones. Then we need to figure out what 10 more would look like. To find 10 more, we need to add a 10. Great job. 3, 13, and what's that bottom number, scholars? 23. Great job, Joanna. So now let's try the equations. 13 minus 10 is equal to what? Solve them on your whiteboard. 13 minus 10 is equal to 3. 13 plus 10 is equal to 23. How did you do? I'm getting the hang of it, but more practice would be smart. That's true. I know that if I want to get better at something, I need to practice, practice, practice. So let's try another one, scholars. Erase your whiteboard, kings and queens. This one looks a little trickier. Our stuttering number is a little bit bigger than what we practiced. That's okay, Joanna. We're just going to use the same strategy and we can do it. So again, we're practicing that strategy of finding 10 more and 10 less. Okay, well, I remember that we started with place value blocks. So let's draw, draw our place value blocks. There's two 10 sticks and some cubes. I forgot what to do next. Can you help jo Joanna remember what to do next? What do we do next, kings and queens? Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to take away 10 and make 10 less. Great job, friends. So now we need to find 10 more. Add 10 more here. Great job. That's right. 19, 29, and 39. How did I do? You did great, Joanna, and so did you, kings and queens. Thanks for your help, friends. Now let's try it with equations. 29 minus 10. Think about if you have 29 and you take away 10, what would that look like? Solve these on your whiteboard. You should get 19 for the first equation. And 39 for the second equation. Because you took 29 and you added 10. How did you do? Last one. Erase your whiteboards. This time I want you to try this on your whiteboard. Click on my shoes when you want to check your answers. 21 minus 10 is equal to what? Solve these on your whiteboard, too. 
Remember, think about the tens and the ones. I know you can do it. 21 minus 10, great job, kings and queens, is 11. Remember, draw your quick picture. 21 plus 10 is equal to what? 31. Great job, kings and queens. Terrific. Now it's time for an exit ticket. Please text your answer or email your teacher on Google Classroom the answer to the following question. Which number is 10 more than 14? And Ms. Sab tried to help you out a little bit. I included a 100 chart right here. So what you're going to do is find the number that is 10 more than the number 14. Thanks for learning with Lola.